Welcome back guys, I trust you've been staying safe. Now this case of Micah Miller and her husband, Pastor JP Miller, is getting big as the days go by. Now, if you are not privy to this case, just pause this, you can go back to my playlist. There's a whole, about three videos on this, how it happened, what happened to her, the background story, the suspicions, her 911 call, the timeline of her whereabouts brought to her unaliving herself, and now this where reports are coming in suggesting that apparently the fbi are investigating pastor jp miller and his attorney and the dare to care african mission being run by the solid rock church now honestly i'm not surprised if you go back to watch my previous videos i indicated that Looking at how this pastor came out to talk about the passing of his wife and also label her with a mental thing, I felt that it was awkward. And I said in my videos that I won't be surprised if this case takes a sudden turn because my instincts were telling me that certain things were off. And it's beginning to look like I may be onto something because even though this pastor is not directly being linked to his wife, my Camilla, unaliving herself, unfortunately, on the 27th of April, 2024. It is still being suggested that there is more to this case than meets the eye or than has met the eye so far because it seems there is so much about this pastor that people didn't know. I'm going to put out about two or three videos talking about other things surrounding this case that are coming up after the the passing of my camilla through her own hands and it's it's very unfortunate but for this sources are confirming that tom winslow of the winslow law firm and pastor jp miller are persons of interest by the fbi concerning issues surrounding monies collected for miller's african mission there to care now per this it, it suggests that the fbi's interest might not be linked to the passing of mika miller that has already been ruled by medical professionals as something that she induced on herself she offed herself but like i was saying i think there is more to this i think that there were things that were going on which may have possibly pushed her over the edge as to whether it was her husband who was foiling it or a group of other things or other people that is yet to be established but the fbi has joined the case and they allegedly are looking at issues surrounding monies collected for miller's african mission this is an african mission that mika miller herself has been to and pastor jp miller himself has also allegedly been to as well as some congregations of of his now i'm here in africa i'm still trying to find out where they came because <laughs> i never got to see them <laughs> but on a more serious note it is unclear how long the investigation has been ongoing but then the metal beach sc news has been sent information that is where i'm getting this information from actually the metal beach sc news the metal beach sc news sorry and they are saying that they've been sent information that confirms that mika miller knew of the fbi investigation prior to her passing and that mika miller allegedly kept a daily journal now this is where it gets tricky because on the 14th of march the metal beach police reported that nearly 1200 dollars in donations meant for the solid rock ministries missionary efforts in africa were actually stolen by who guess what it wasn't the pastor the money was allegedly stolen by mika miller and she was the suspect but then the case has now been closed by the local police it was a case of a theft investigation and awkwardly her bank account, Mika Miller's bank account, was allegedly credited with 1,199 US dollars after Mika Miller committed what she did to herself 
at the state park in Robson County on the 27th of April, 2024. Now, as we know, her death was self-induced. But then, this part of the whole thing begs a lot of questions. Why would Mika Miller steal $1,200 from donations meant for Solid Rock Ministries missionary efforts in Africa? Did she actually steal it? Because police reports are saying that she was the suspect in the now-closed local police theft investigation. But my first question is, did she actually steal the money? If yes, how come nothing was done? How did they close the case? These are questions that, for me, I believe is valid. Because sometimes, people off themselves as a way of escaping. I believe, or I'm having this sense, that there was so much going on in this church that goes beyond the pending divorce between this pastor and his wife. And maybe some of these things were compounding to a point that they began to become something that was more of a psychological torture on her. Or I could be wrong. But why would she steal the money? If they are saying she did, why would she steal the money in the first place? And if she stole the money and they confirmed she was the one, what happened to her? What did they do? What legal steps did they take? And again, the other question is, how come after she passed, on the day that she passed, 1199 US dollars was credited to her account? Who credited the money to her account and why? These are things that I'm sure the FBI will be looking into. Now, apparently, additional funds are missing from that same mission and the attorney tom winslow and his law firm are people or organizations of interest in this fbi case now i'm going to put out a video on this attorney who had actually come out to issue some threats about what people are saying about pastor jp miller with regards to what has happened to mika miller where she has self-induced her own person and This guy came out to say some things. As it stands now, we don't really know what is and what isn't. So I understand where he's coming from as an attorney representing the pastor. I'll do a whole video on that after this one. But then, it's worth noting that Tom Winslow represented Pastor John Paul Miller and helped John Paul Miller get legal documentation of Mika's mental health diagnosis. Now, apparently, a lot of people had actually questioned the methods of Tom Winslow in getting this legal documentation. Now, as is expected, and I'm not surprised, the Solid Rock Church website was removed from the internet and scrapped after news of the FBI investigation began to privately leak out in certain circles. Now, This begs a lot of questions. Why would they take down their website and scrub it? What are they hiding? Or what are they trying to avoid, if anything? I believe that they are a church. If they say they are a church and they are the church they say they are, I think they shouldn't have anything to hide, unless maybe they do. But like I said, these are early days yet. I believe that as it stands now, this case is getting bigger and bigger. I think it's going beyond just the passing of Mika Miller. Looking at how it's going, maybe some things might be uncovered, which may to an extent possibly could have contributed to what Mika Miller did to herself or may unravel something else altogether. But according to alleged reports out there, it seems Mika Miller knew of this FBI investigation. But the question is, could that also have been a possible reason as to why she ended herself because maybe there's something there she's also culpable for because the local police are already saying she was the key suspect in the stealing of 1200 from this missionary coffers. So what if there's more things that she did? This is me not trying to disrespect her memory, but I'm just trying to analyze the case. It could be that, possibly, or maybe that was all there was 
it was something else that drove over the edge. What do you think about this whole thing, the FBI getting involved and all? I think that, as it stands now, already a lot of crazy things have come out about Pastor JP Miller and I'm going to bring out a video on that one as well. But with the FBI coming in, that is a new twist. And it seems they were actually already checking or investigating as at match. And it's alleged that Mika Miller knew. So it doesn't seem they are now coming into the case. Maybe they may now extend their investigation to also probably look into possible root causes of why Mika Miller would induce what she induced on herself and of herself. But then it appears that they were already checking something on the money, investigating the trio, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it seems that Pastor JP Miller and his attorney, Tom Winslow, are key persons of interest. How would this go? What do you think is going to be the climax? I feel that Pandora's box has been opened and a lot of things are going to come out. Already there are messages circulating allegedly coming from some members of this Solid Rock Church who seem to be exposing certain things about the church that are not so healthy. Personally, I've come to realize that most churches or some churches of today or well, there seem to be some question marks. You can let me know what your views are on this case and on some churches or on some things you think about this case in the comment section. All in all, we are still seeking justice for me, Camilla, if there is any justice to be sought based on what we don't know yet or what we know but we may not understand. Just looking forward to this case coming to an end where the justice would go in the direction it has to go to. But hey, R.I.P. Mika Miller. It's unfortunate she has to go out like this. And my heart and condolences and commiserations goes out to her family and loved ones. I'm following this case like I promised you and I'll bring you all updates as and when they are due. Until then, subscribe, watch our other videos, leave comments, stay safe out there and I'll catch you on the next one.